Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a full moon energy reading for each of the individual signs. Now full moons are really about completions. They're about endings, the culmination of things. As we transition into the colder months, it's the perfect time to purge the things that don't serve a positive purpose to make room for things that do. This full moon will peak on the 27th and it will be in the sign of Gemini, the sign of the twins. Now, when the moon peaks in Gemini, it brings with it the duality of the twins and it gives us the opportunity to see challenges from multiple perspectives. This will also allow us to make an objective decision. For some, this is going to be about money, finances, career, that type of thing. For some of us, it's going to be about friendships, relationships. But for all of us, it's about creating the positive space in our lives to allow the things that we desire to come in. Now, in these messages, I tap into the energy surrounding you. I look at what's hidden, what's challenging you at this time. We'll see how to correct this energy, how to transmute this energy into something positive. We'll look at the outcome if action is taken and the outcome if no action is taken. I'm going to clarify the energy and I'll pull an oracle card at the end. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's dive in. So we're going to dive right into Aries energy for this upcoming full moon. Most important message here for Aries spirit. What do my Aries friends need to know? What do they need to release through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Two of Cups energy. See how that plays out into the reading. The Queen of Cups. So this is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The energy surrounding you, Aries, the Eight of Wands. What's hidden? The Wheel of Fortune. How to correct this energy? Ten of Cups. The outcome, if action is taken. Three of Cups. The outcome if no action is taken is the king of wands. Definitely feel like there is a separation between you and another person. And even though you guys may be apart at this time, I do feel like there is an opportunity for you and this person to come back together. But you both have to come together open and honest and communicate what exactly it is that you need from the other in order to make this work. So the energy surrounding you, Aries, is the Eight of Wands. This is a communication card to me. Okay, I know this is also taking action, moving forward. But to me, this is like having a conversation and getting on the same page. See, I feel like you and this person have a very intense connection. Now, either you or your person aren't really understanding the spiritual aspect of your connection. And this may be your person more so than you, Aries. But I do feel like it's like there's a misunderstanding of somebody's actions between the two of you. Now, I do feel like this has been a long time coming. This happened a long time ago. Okay, so you and this person have been in separation for some time. But I do feel like there is hope to make this work. Okay. Now, one thing that's going to help is getting clear. And I know I talk about that a lot on this channel. But ultimately, we aren't going to know if we're in alignment with what we want if we don't know what we want. Okay, so you need to get clear on what you want out of this with this person. Is this over? Are you done? Or if this person does X, Y, and Z, 
would you be open to the connection? And what exactly is X, Y, and Z? Break it down. How to correct this energy. I feel like you need to be open with this person about how you feel. And it's not only those negative, those positive emotions. It's also the negative ones. You see, you and this person had a beautiful connection. But somewhere along the line, something transpired between the two of you. Some sort of disagreement, maybe an argument. I honestly feel like your person went through some sort of experience with their family and they didn't know how to communicate what they were going through and that really caused a disruption in this connection that's what i feel like is coming out here and what i'm asking of you aries is to be open and honest with this person about how this made you feel when this person became guarded now if you are able to be strategic, be open, communicate, there is an opportunity for this to come together, for this to work. Okay, three of cups energy. If you stay closed off, if you stay guarded, and you're in this energy of not wanting to come together with this person, you will have what you wish for. But I do feel like there is a sense of healing and closure that needs to take place with this person. And you have to be open to that experience. So even if having a conversation with this person about how this made you feel and knowing that you don't want to try again is okay. I do feel like by you communicating how this person made you feel, it's going to help you to get closure on the situation more so than just talking about it. Just more so than journaling, more so than talking to your friends or seeing a therapist, that type of an energy. Please clarify the King of Wands in the reverse. I do feel like you and this person, at one point there was a lot of love between the two of you. And I honestly feel here, Aries, at times you do miss this person. You do miss this connection or at least some attributes of it. It's okay to miss a person and not want them back in your life. That's valid, completely valid. Why is it? Because this indicates that there are certain things that you enjoy about this connection and certain things that you know aren't good for you. And that awareness alone is the key. Why do I say that? Why do I say awareness is the key? Because when we're aware of like the actions we're taking and the energy we're putting into a situation, we're able to have a better judgment of what we want and the outcome that we're looking for. It also gives us a better understanding of how to place our energy in that situation. There is an energy of like feeling abandoned or feeling a loss with this person. And even if you don't reconcile, this is an opportunity for you to get closure. This is coming out because this person is about to make an entrance back into your life some way, shape, or form. I would say through some sort of gathering, party, get together, you're going to see this person. Um, but they just may directly reach out as well so let's pull a moon manifestation card out to sum up your reading aries thank you guys again for all the love and support for information on rituals for ritual kits for personal readings it's all linked below in the description box and if you find the message is helpful if it's resonating for you you can give it a thumbs up or you can comment below how it was helpful how it was resonating you never know how your story could help another person so aries we have listening so number 23, that's a five. So there is a resolution coming as this person is coming into your life. So just be open at least to the conversation. Drawing this card indicates that you are meant to listen to what others are saying with their gestures rather than their words. In this card, there is a beautiful girl with skin the color of dark honey who has the gift of poetry. She is able to weave tales with great detail and expression. 
yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what is required right now. Listen and learn. What others don't say is what is important in this moment. Aries, definitely feel like that's a very solid message coming out. The most important thing that I gather from all of this information, the understanding and the awareness is the key. Knowing that this person is coming back into your life so you can sit down and think about what you want to say and how you want to say it to close out this chapter appropriately. And yes, I do feel like this is dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but I definitely feel like you need to tell this person how they made you feel when they left. And that's where you'll either get closure or a reconciliation because they will either take account accountability for their actions and you guys can move forward or they'll show you exactly who they are in that moment. So just be open to the conversation and clear on what you want the outcome to be. So Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know about the book that I recently created. Now this is a must have for all tarot enthusiasts. You're going to get 15 unique spreads as well as an area to journal your reading along with journaling prompts to ask your guides during the reading. Let me just show you a little preview. The book is published on Amazon and is available now. So if you're interested in purchasing this book, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. So let's dive into your reading.